the path of our elder statesman more than a decade ago during the formation of the APC. He was the chairman of the major committee. It was a tension sock engagement. But ever a man of wisdom, a man with an elephantine memory, using his Punjian witticism and feeling anecdotes, was always dousing tensions during the major process. And when Senator Solomon Adiola Olamide Kham, Yai, took us to a convalescing Aramoshan Room Oshoba in London. The main issue of discussion was Nigeria. He had a new cooperation, but he was more worried about the Nigeria project. He was more committed to the Nigeria project. Ah, uh, Oshoba, we are very mightily proud of you. And may we gather here in 15 years and to celebrate our 100th birthday. And it's my singular honor and privilege to read the President's speech. I will not even jump the corner. <laughs> I'm honored to share the, in the joy of the public presentation of Arimo Olusegun Oshoba's book, My Life in the Public Eye. Chief Oshoba, whom I fondly call Arimo One, is a notable figure in our country, having excelled in various fields in his journalism career, he achieved great success. And his contributions to politics have been remarkable. He served as the governor of Ogun State twice and made a lasting impact on the lives of his people. One of his most notable achievements was his role as a leading figure in Nadeko, where he fought for democracy alongside others. We owe him a debt of gratitude for his sacrifices. I would like to take this opportunity to thank him once again for documenting his journey and experiences. His life will be a source of inspiration and hope for generations to come. If Aremo Oshoba has achieved his goals through hard work, determination and perseverance, then there is hope for others to do the same. I commend him for gifting us two books in quick succession, with the one being a follow-up to his 2019 memoir. I urge other leaders to follow our most example and write books to share their experiences and provide guidance for future generations. As we celebrate Aremo Oshoba's upcoming 85th birthday, I'm grateful that he has remained healthy and active. I wish him a memorable birthday and many more years of good health. I would like to highlight one important aspect of Aremo Oshoba's life, his commitment to Nigeria's diversity and unity. This is a vital lesson for our nation, particularly during these challenging times. As we work to overcome our current challenges, we must remember that unity and cooperation are essential. Our people must support our administration's efforts to create better living conditions for all. We are taking steps to address food shortages by temporarily removing tariffs on imported grains and other food items. We will continue to drive local production and ensure that we produce what we eat and use locally. Today is about celebrating our emotional life in the public eye throughout his career. He has remained respected and admired by the public. His life is an inspiration to us all. And we thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you for listening. This is the President's exact words.
And with the benefit of hindsight, I was able to put the jigsaw puzzle into shape. Solomon Olamide can drag us to Aremo or Shoma's house. By then he was a senator representing Naples West. I never knew that he had plans of moving to Ogun West. So it was a master song. He took us to pay homage to the ultimate kingmaker. May God bless us all. Thank you so much. We will do the, we like Mr. B. Uh, we like you to please come up so that we do the cake cutting straight away, but we have some pizza sessions with him. I know, sir, we're we'll still waiting. The Senate President, please, so we can have, you know, some uh, memorable. Video and uh, photo shoots. Thank you. Uh, where are the ushers? The, the cake should be in the middle. Quick, 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 let's have you. Just take it easy so you don't somebody say. Mr. Wilhelm, please come. I'll tell you who we can Sir, okay. And what kind of place do you go to the next one? Senator Dume, the government of the United States. Senator Dume. Uh, Bella, please come. I've been asked to call you. Second citizen. Rodo Villaro, please come. Second citizen. Thank you. 